Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we? No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left it to father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother... <laughs> She would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. <gasps> Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. There. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just. I will just. Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Boy. One more for the collection.
face me, God of Thunder! Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Why do you hate Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. At first we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, Roy. We have a statue to destroy. Father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue. That spirit. The one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Would his story be a reminder? The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. stories have you got? One more. There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, a stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. Oh, we will finish that later. Okay. Huh. Here, boy. Vathergar, southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. Let's see it. What happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well, scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. 
but they died anyways. <laughs> Here, boy. Yes, sir. Curse the Dwarf King, bane of mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Does it matter? No, I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused. begin to build statues this big. Dwarves are resourceful creatures. Annoying, but resourceful. I guess they must have been pretty important dwarves. So, what happened when the horseman had deal with the hunter? He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. We will continue another. Well, here it is. It's gotta have a weak point. Somewhere. Father's great. Find anything good? Perhaps. Father, we're going to bring down that statue, right? Go! There he goes. How is he planning on doing this himself? Go! This easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joke matter. Sorry. trouble for us. Because that is their nature. But with all that power, you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy. What's that down there? So, what happened when the horsemen had deal with the hunter? 
We will continue another time. Good. Do you hear that? Follow me, Atreus. Boy, over here. Sir. I am aware of it, boy.
chain dragon? Mother used to tell me stories. Can we help him? This dragon is dangerous. I guess so. But it sounds so sad. concern us. I know, but it's what Mother would have wanted. And it just seems right. Guard your emotions, boy. Your enemies will not hesitate to use them against you. Yes, sir.
Look here. Yes, sir. on the right side fell off. Dwarf built it? They must have been impressive back when he ruled. yourself.
You may want to see this. Looks like that lever over there was free. Attack. I know, but it feels wrong to keep something caged like this. Your emotions again, boy. Ignore them and ready yourself. Okay. improving. You fought well, Atreus. Thank you, Father. Fresh air feels good. (laughs) 
So, what happened to all the people who lived here? Follow the clues, boy. Right, right. Follow the clues. Okay, so there was an evil dwarf king, and he made all these people hunt monsters. The people put them in cages, and then... And then I don't know. Hmm. We are missing a clue. Back inside the castle? No. There is nothing more for us inside. But stay alert for Chain Dragons, boy. Perhaps you'll uncover more about this Dwarf King.